Biblical Truth of Our Hymns, number 75, The Way of the Cross Leads Home, by Jesse Brown Pounds. And what we have is, she was born uh, August 31st, 1861. Her health as young was poor. She married uh, John Pounds, a pastor of the Central Christian Church in 1906. And it said that she would write down her poetry and later she would put it into him. She's also written, I know my Redeemer liveth, the touch of his hand on mine, the rest there is rest for the weary. Anywhere Jesus I can go safely. Wonderful peace. Passing through the great. So what we have here is a story which possibly came where she got the idea from this end. And it goes on to say a London police officer came up to a lost child. Was unable to tell him where he lived. Finally, amid sobs and tears, the child simply said, If you will take me to the cross, I think I could find my way home there. And the cross here would be an area in the midst of London called the Charing Cross, or the nickname the cross. So, I want to let you think that, you know, the little boy is talking about Jesus. Sorry to say. So, this, this song is copyrighted, and we're going to use the fair use law because we're teaching something to learn. And we have here, I must needs go home by the way of the cross. And there is no other need. Because the cross was a bloody sacrifice of the Lamb of God would take away the sin of the world. You're not going home to glory by baptism. You're not going home to glory because you go to a particular church. You're not going home to glory because you're good. You go home by the way of the cross. There's no other way but this, and that's what I just said. Great start. I shall never get sight of the gates of light if the way of the cross I miss. What a great stanza. You know what she said? I am not going to the heavenly light. I am not going to heaven. I am not going to New Jerusalem if I go by another way of the cross. If I go by work, I'm not going to see the light of Jesus. What she said? Her salvation is based upon the cross. The finished work of Jesus, the gospel, that Jesus Christ suffered and died, according to the scripture, and was buried, and arose again the third day, according to the scripture. Well, I'm, no, you're not somebody. You're a sinner that needs to be saved by Jesus. I must needs go on in the blood-sprinkled way, the path that the Savior's job, capital F. I must walk the walk of Jesus. I must carry my own cross. Jesus carried his cross. We ought to carry ours. And the path I'm going to walk, as she says, is a bloody path. If I ever climb to the heights sublime, where the soul is at home with God. Look at that. Look at that assurance she's got. Look at that surety. One day I'm going to be with God. She died. Her body's in the grave, but she went absent from the body and present with the Lord. Then I bid farewell to the way of the world. And goodbye, world. That's what I love to do. This world is not my home. The world ain't going to stop you. Nobody's going to stop you when the Lord calls you home. To walk in it nevermore. Now, she didn't say earth. She said world. Because Christians are coming back in the second advent. 
when Jesus Christ reigns in in Jerusalem on the throne of David, no more to walk the worldly way. Listen, all Christians walk in Christ, and all Christians at the same time walk in the world. We're not supposed to, but we do. She's saying, hey, you know what? All the world and all sin, I am not taking that path no more. Verse two, uh, stanza two said, hey, I'm going to walk the bloodstained way. I'm going to walk in the way of Jesus, which is right. Stanza three said, hey, there's coming a day I ain't going to walk like that. I ain't going to walk like in the world no more. I am not going to be worldly. I'm not going to have any sin, no more sorrow, no more death. For the Lord says, come. And I seek my home. Where he where he waits at the open door. He says he's the door. And when you die to be absent from the body, present with the Lord, there you are. The way of the cross leads home. There you go. You didn't get it? The way of the cross leads home. It is sweet to know as I onward go, the Christian walk. In case you didn't get it, the way of the cross leads home. Let me ask you. This is a great hymn. When was the last time your church sang that? This is a great testimony of a woman I would be assured that is saved. And she says she is saved by the cross. She's walking by the blood. And she's going to be with God. Well, she is with God. And when she wrote this hand, she's going to be with God. And great hymn. I sing it. I sing it. 